Ryan has decided that maybe, just maybe, it's time to update the House dress code. This was a story last week involving an unidentified journalist who claimed that she was kicked out of the chamber because of the fact that she was wearing a sleeveless dress. Well, that sparked the debate about the dress code that is decades old. And now Paul Ryan says, I don't know, like maybe it's time to update it a little bit. So let me give you the details. The current guidelines allow the House Surgeon at Arms and members of chamber security to restrict access to staff and visitors not wearing appropriate business attire. But they don't define what business attire is. Exactly what constitutes appropriate business attire is not clearly stated. And so um, it kind of allows people to go ahead and kick mostly women out. For nonsense, right? A lot of women wear power dresses, business attire that is sleeveless, and that's just modern times. So there's the, the, the part that people are underplaying is driving me crazy. You're not allowed to have open toe shoes. Mm -hmm. Like, why? Why? What is that from like the 1800s? I or? kind of get that. Why? I, I, mean, I don't, I personally don't care. So I would roll my eyes at that as well, but I don't know. It just, I don't know. Really? That's not even a thing I realized was an etiquette thing. I, I had no idea. Like feet are, feet are gross. Let's keep it no, real. No, 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 no. So look, if you that's why this is totally sexist, if not by intention, mm -hmm. but by effect. Because <laughs> which male reporter or staffer is gonna come in, in a sleeveless shirt? It's preposterous. What are you gonna wear like a wife beater to Congress, right? It's almost only going to not almost, it's only going to apply to women. And the open toed thing, which nasty dude is gonna show up and you know, yeah, and whatever you show up with flip flops or whatever to Congress. But women wear dress shoes that show their feet all the time. All yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah, they I mean, do. In like they the do. most formal settings. I, I'm just saying that. In my list of priorities regarding what I would want to change about this dress code, the open toed shoe thing is the least of my concern, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't bother me either way. So that's just my honest take on it. Um, now, here's what Paul Ryan has to say about it. He says, in regard to the dress code, this is nothing new and certainly not something that I devised. At the same time, that doesn't mean that enforcement couldn't stand to be a bit modernized. Decorum, this is my favorite part. Oh my God, this is my favorite part. Decorum is important, especially for this institution, and a dress code in the chamber in the lobby makes sense. Okay, let's just stop right there. Come back to us. Decorum is important. Like, I, I just love that they're talking about etiquette while they rob us blind, I right? Know, yeah. We get together and talk about how to violate your freedoms. How to give tax cuts and loopholes to the richest people in the country, how to screw over the most disadvantaged. But we just want to make sure that you cover up your arms, ladies. Proper decorum. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay, yeah, that went in the direction yeah. I didn't expect. So, but you are right. I mean, they, they start wars there. They, they don't need yeah. to start. I mean, people die, let, let alone healthcare, let alone the tax cuts. You know, the top 0.1% are going to get a $940,000 tax cut. Meanwhile, your taxes might go up, okay? But he's worried about decorum. No, no, no. He's, talking about, he's, talking about, he's talking about decorum, right? He's talking about decorum. He's talking about talking decorum. He's decorum. Okay, the man <laughs> that you supported who is currently the President of the United States bragged about grabbing women by the pussy and moving in on them like a bitch. I moved okay. in her like a bitch. <laughs> and then he said, you're a pirate bitch. No, that's somebody else. Okay, I'm just, <laughs> look, I, I don't know why that, Part of his quote annoyed me, but it's just like this fake properness, yeah. right? Like, let's all pretend like we're proper while we're robbing the American people. No, by. no, but that you're you're absolutely right though, because th that is one of the core issues in Washington. You can do and pass the most horrific policies; that's totally okay. Uh, but if you are impolite to someone else in the elites, that is considered unacceptable. That's the thing that'll get you railroaded straight out of Washington. <gasps> he was impolite to one of the elites. How could he? Decorum has been broken. Well, didn't you guys get, you passed the resolution to get us into the Iraq war and didn't several hundred thousand civilians die because of that? Yes, but we didn't break decorum while we were doing it. <laughs> I mean, God, God forbid you should we should see your arms while we're voting for horrific things. And finally, my random note on it is. It's like, look, in the lobby, we've gotta make sure that there's decor. 
Well, how are you gonna get to your office without passing through the lobby? So <laughs> any rule that applies to the lobby applies to the whole building. So why bother making that stupid distinction? Because they can't help themselves. They're like, oh, I'm gonna do a loophole here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I love loopholes. It's just so dumb. <laughs> anyway, look, I, I, it's important to dress professionally, right? And present yourself professionally, but these outdated dress codes drive me absolutely nuts. Help us build independent media together, tytnetwork.com slash join.